Good morning, everyone. Dr. Vicki here at the Siege of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Today is, what is today? <laughs> Friday, June 30th. And the moon, uh, as we stand here, is still in Scorpio. It'll be in Scorpio until 11.01 a.m. on the East Coast of the U.S. And it, then it moves into um, Sedge. Um, optimistic Sedge. Um, big picture Sedge. <laughs> Adventurous Sedge. How many Sedge words can we come up with? Sometimes overly optimistic. <laughs> uh, sometimes blunt. <laughs> but certainly, uh, sometimes we don't always appreciate the Sag until we're, we realize that perhaps the Sag was right. <laughs> uh, so we did have a trine between Mercury and Saturn, as I said yesterday. Things would start to feel like they were clearing up. I know there's been a lot of things going on in the news things uh, especially around Donald Trump and January 6th and and the papers and um, all that stuff uh, has been um, things have been coming up and uh, it doesn't look good for the ex-president uh, so it looks like we're getting what most of us have uh, hoped for for so long um, but you know everything in its in its time as it were uh, there's a um, big shift today, and that's uh, Neptune. Neptune stations retrograde. Neptune has made it up to about 28, I think it's 28 degrees of Pisces. And, uh, you know, it's been in Pisces since 2011. Um, and so it's, uh, it's there for 14 years, so we still have a few more years uh, with Neptune in Pisces. It's staying in Pisces. Um, next year as well it'll be at the la latter degrees right um but the one thing about and generally when these transpersonal planets of which neptune is one they change directions there's usually a palpable shift in the um in the zeilgeist i guess we could call it and sometimes neptune is pretty subtle neptune is because it's oh hi bum bum Hello, little one. Aren't you cute? Hi. <laughs> Charlie's out. Be careful. Um, because um, it's such a subtle energy sometimes and kind of otherworldly. We're not always aware of when Neptune changes direction, but sometimes we're very aware of when, ne when Neptune changes direction. It probably has something to do with I don't know, other stuff, I, which is a ter terrible way to describe that because of other things. I don't know what those other things are, but other things, it's like the environment is perfect for the shift. Now, the interesting thing about Neptune is that when Donald Trump did win, uh, well, or apparently, allegedly, I mean, what, what word do you use for that? When he was given the presidency of the United States, perhaps we should say it that way, Neptune was conjunct the south node of the moon. And things connected to the south node bring forward things from the past. And with Neptune, it can be wishes and ideals and delusions. And the idea that one person, a man especially, <clears throat> sorry guys, uh, could fix everything and was going to put the America back on its feet and competitive and America first and all those things um, was a, sort of an old dream, I think, of, you know, daddy is going to take care of everything. And really, we're moving into a new age, whereas the wisdom of daddy, although I wouldn't call Trump daddy at all, uh, <clears throat> but the the wisdom of the the wise sage or the guy in charge or the CEO thinking that perhaps they will have the best interests of their people at heart um, is a nice thought. And in some cases it's true, but it wasn't true for him. And <clears throat> part of our evolution now is to become responsible for ourselves, right? To learn how to 
be responsible for ourselves and to um, become emotionally self-reliant because that and, and all those like archetypes that I'm speaking of are, are pretty much Capricorn archetypes and we've had Saturn in Capricorn most recently and of course Pluto's been in Capricorn since 2008 and really that has shifted so much when you think about pre Pluto and Capricorn and post Pluto and Capricorn that like demarcation point of um, the uh, the banking failure the, the fact that we almost uh, the economy of the whole world almost tanked because of some banksters and insurance guys out of New York who um, and the whole system that was corrupt it brought that out and and ever since then Capcorn and Pluto and Capcorn has been bringing that all that stuff out <clears throat> in spades where we've seen abuse of power after abuse of power after abuse of power and that abuse of power done by people who had um, who were on the top of the of the pile, right? Whether it be the priest and the in, or whether it be the athletic director or the coach, and of course now we have this Jim Jordan thing, uh, which is going to come up um, again. I mean, I don't know how long it's going to take, but uh, he can't be all that happy. But that's sort of in the same in the same theme. And as we move into this uh, Aquarian age. Or as we move into the Pluto in, in Aquarian days to come, um, we're going to be shifting some of that. And we'll see how Pluto affects Aquarius uh, in the way that, you know, it brings up the shadow. And there's a lot of shadow uh, work with Aquarius to be, to be figured out and to be healed. And uh, a lot of that Aquarius is associated with trauma. So there's a lot of things about... PTSD and trauma that we're going to become aware of and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to utilize the experiences of Pluto through Aquarius for the benefit of humanity, which is really what Aquarius kind of wants us to do, just like Capricorn wants us to take responsibility for ourselves. And so we will take responsibility for ourselves, and we have taken responsibility for ourselves. And now the people in charge, quote unquote, in charge, will have to take responsibility for their actions or non actions. And that's what's happening. And I think because, uh, and I know I went from Neptune to to uh, to Cap to uh, Pluto, but this Neptune um, Neptune has been very very active in uh, the whole Trump presidency. In fact, during part of it. Neptune was square the nodes of the moon. And so dealing with these issues of illusion and delusion and ideals and imaginings. And, you know, if you have um, if you have a dream, why are you putting in somebody else's hands? Right. Why? If you have a dream of a better America, why are you why are you handing over to somebody like Trump right now? No, none of you did. But I'm just saying this is like a rhetorical question. Is that what it is? Anyway, uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is. Uh, I think we've learned we have if we want the job done we have to participate and we have to make sure that the people that we put there are not put in on faith but put in on deeds and I think that is happening so I think that's all I want to say about it today I've been talking for a long time it's been a great June the last time I looked I had 9,999 subscribers then I looked after that and I had 9,998 subscribers. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> but I haven't looked yet this morning. So thank you for all my new subscribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We come out here every morning. Uh, I did not get my short out last night. Um, so I apologize for that. Um, but I will have shorts now for uh, July coming up. And uh, you can check out, I did a uh, Oracle pull with a new Oracle deck that I have. For July, that's a short. I, I don't know how you can check that. I think you just they just come up. And uh, today, uh, I'm going to get on with Ona, and we're going to do Moonshine, our Moonshine episodes for the full moon in Cans um, Capricorn on the 3rd of July. And uh, we're going to talk about that today. And you can get that on, at, on Ona's channel. That's Ona's Tarot. Uh, she's on YouTube. Many of you already 
subscribe and know Ona. But for those of you who don't, check her, check her out. And she does have, uh, oh my God, the cutest, the cutest uh, Frenchie-ish, uh, Frenchie-ish, Frenchie uh, jibs. Uh, he always has something to say uh, in his wise ways. <laughs> Boy, I'm a poet. I'm getting good at this. All right, guys. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you again tomorrow. Take care. Namaste.